All right, I'm going to start working on the uh, right leg and see how far I get. Hopefully, I can get to the head of the cowboy today. That's what I hope for, anyway. Time to play with some clay. All right, I gotta take a measure of the leg, the length of the leg, and uh, I rolled out a piece of clay to give me the measure for the uh, flap of the um, uh, shap, this uh, thing, this part here. So I rolled out a piece of clay and that gives me the length for it. All right, I'm take, laying this uh, out on the uh, piece of flat clay that I've got. And this gives me the maximum width at the top and the maximum width at the bottom, which I've already measured out. And so, I know the uh, shaft is going to be that long. And uh, okay, okay, this is going to be hard to show because my arms are going to be in the way, but I'll try to do the best I can. I don't have somebody uh, on. My team here, who is uh, videoing as I work, so I have to rely on just me. I've got to make the crease just right where the uh, chap is folded over right there. Oh, that, that works out perfect. How about that? Wow, that don't look too bad. That worked out good. Okay, works out perfect. Lines up perfectly with the uh, previous top of the uh, shaft that I had done before. Now I just gotta mark where the uh, conchos are. All right, I got one conch that's going to be right underneath this rink, this major wrinkle right here. And uh, let's see, right in there. And then we got another one down here. I did the same thing that I did for the length of the, uh, uh, the uh, flap of the uh, shap. I uh, marked... I put this uh, thin piece of clay on the other side and marked where each conch was. So even though the legs bent, I got those conches evenly spaced when I get ready to uh, uh, put the conches on, which I'm not ready to do yet. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself, in other words. All right, I'm going to put the bottom of the... Uh, Shap on the uh, shap. I'm redundant. Okay, it's hard for you to see what I'm doing, so I apologize for that.
You know, I love a job where I can sit in my robe and work. <laughs> or actually play with my clay. Anyway. All right. I'm going to mark... I've got the first or the top of the uh, roll at the center of that conch, and I'm just going to uh, mark each conch going down so that I, when I do it on the other side, it'll be exact. And I've got it right at the bottom of the uh, shaft so I can make sure I've got the uh, conches at the right positioning of the leg. I worked uh, off camera a lot on this uh, shat only because I couldn't get good camera angles at all. So I had to uh, do it off camera and I apologize for not having it for you guys. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. All right, I'm just marking where the uh, marks are. Okay, I'm going to take the head off. I've got to work on that separate. This is just an impact drills uh, attachment so that I can put the uh, head in the uh, attachment and hold it in place while I work on it. All right. I'll do this head tomorrow. This uh, chap took longer than I thought it was going to take. It's just very time-consuming to do these things. All right, we'll be on the head tomorrow. And uh, when I'm fresh and uh, rested. Good night, everybody, and I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.